It's Monday, which means it's time for a quick, 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 quick take, quick update of what happened last week. Well, three projects announced ZK EVM updates last week. Polygon, Scroll, and ZK Sync. Layer 2 rollups designed to ease the burden on Ethereum using the ZK proofs. The EVM, well that stands for Ethereum Virtual Machine. In this case, representing equivalence or compatibility, although the two are not the same thing. Yes, it's Layer 2 Summer. 2022 is the year of Layer 2 Summer. Wait, wasn't that last year? Cheap dunks on Ryan's gushy tweets aside, there is something brewing here, and we'll take a closer look right after this. There are a few platforms that put security first while helping you make the most out of your crypto. On Nexo, you can buy crypto with a card in seconds and automatically start earning interest paid out daily. If you want to restructure your portfolio when the time comes, jump on Nexo's instant exchange and get rewards on every swap. Borrowing against your crypto without selling is easy with rates starting at 0%. Nexo is the place for your crypto where you can securely buy, earn, exchange, borrow and store your assets through the market cycles. Visit nexo.io and play the long game right. So the skinny. Rollups are one of a range of scaling solutions for Ethereum because the old girl's pipes get clogged up so fast when there's a big NFT drop or the bottom falls out of the market. Remember three ETH transaction fees for the other side drop? Yeah that. Rather than process transactions individually, rollups bundle up collections of transactions, then present this accumulated truth to the main Ethereum chain as a single transaction. There are two dominant flavors, optimistic and zero knowledge. Yummy. Optimistic assumes that everyone acts in good faith, even this guy behind the camera. Are you in good faith? Yes. He's not. ZK tries to prove that it's true. ZK, I've got this guy out. Is he for real? Yeah? You sure about that? He says you're legit. I don't believe him. Arbitrum and Optimism, well, they're optimistic roll-ups. Starkware, Immutable X, they're ZK homies. So that brings us to ZK EVM. The EVM being, of course, Ethereum virtual machine, the computing environment that adds logic to Ethereum in the form of smart contracts. Those are written in Solidity, the very specific coding language behind the vast majority of activity on the blockchain. Fun side note on Solidity, you can't debug it or alter it once it's deployed, which is why smart contract audits are so very expensive and so very, very necessary. So a ZK EVM is a virtual machine that generates zero knowledge proofs to verify the correctness of smart contract actions, which doesn't sound that sexy, but it kind of is. The original EVM was never designed to do this, and it's actually very, very, very hard. Your favorite existing ZK rollups, they don't do it, which means they're limited to just payments and transfers, but an EVM opens up DAP functionality and the full buffet of action available on your layer one of choice. No need to develop a wallet, just use MetaMask or your preferred ETH provider. Code can be forked with relative ease. Plus, it's a programming language developers already know. And Vitalik, well, he prefers ZK over optimistic FWIW. ZK EVMs will make uh, lots of things more amazing at layer one and layer two. So like I said, ZK EVM has been one of those mythical engineering challenges that seemed out of reach and impossible. But of course now we have not one, not two, but three to choose from. Polygon announced their implementation with a snazzy animation calling it a giant leap forward for Ethereum scaling and ZK innovation, and claiming the fastest ZK tech available called, believe it or not, Plunky 2. I mean, who calls it Plunky 2? Seriously, Plunky dipsticks. What a plonker. Polygon also make a big point about EVM equivalency, specifically how this differs from EVM compatibility, but that seems to be a little bit fuzzy. Anyway, as far as I can tell, it's this. EVM compatibility means it functions identically from a software, tooling, and developer perspective, whereas EVM equivalence means that the rollup functions as completely EVM equivalent from any and all perspectives. Make of that what you will. Now, Scroll, a much smaller company, also announced the ZK EVM solution last week, touting security via inherited layer one nodes, and again, EVM equivalents. And finally, there's ZK Sync from Matter Labs, who last week announced a definitive 100-day roadmap to mainnet 4, in their words, the first ZK EVM rollup. The public testnet went live back in February, 
And you might also be wondering why Polygon was claiming to be the first ZK EVM rollup as well. Firstly, it matters not one sausage, apart from measuring the size of one's gentleman vegetables. But Alex Grukowski, CEO of Matter Labs, the developer behind ZK Sync, had some precious words for the Polygon team in a Coindesk piece, believing their rivals had underestimated the length of testing required. I know how long it took us from the concept to the first test net and from there through multiple iterations. You build this system, you learn a lot about it, and it gets a lot more complex than previous versions. Alex was more complimentary about the scroll team, however, in a tweet almost as gushy as the RSA one we led with. And that, if you hadn't twigged, is me laying on the snark, which is a blockchain joke. And that leads me to believe. Think I better do it right now before I fall any deeper. That is it for today. Like, comment, subscribe. If you want more mush for your gusher, then we covered sports teams, market moves, and the rebirth of DeFi last week. Plenty more goodies to look forward to this week. Have a very good one. Peace. Peace. So we do, yeah?